Hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Misfits Racing League Circuit Guide series. This week, we take an in-depth look at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez ahead of Round 20 of MRL Season 3. So, without further ado, let's head down to the track. So welcome back everybody, we're here on the track out in Mexico, and our lap of this wonderful circuit, the short circuit, uh, starts before it even, well, starts. So a tip I have for you guys, especially for qualifying and for time trial, uh, is uh, that you, when you are about to start your lap, your, your flying lap, that you take the widest line possible through this last corner. So you'll be coming out full throttle and then you just hug this right hand side line to give yourself a longer run towards the timing line. And by doing this, you will have a tiny bit more speed Tiny bit, uh, you'll be a tiny bit faster once you hit that timing line which is just in front of us. So after that, be zooming down, you gain your free hundredth, a couple hundredths of a second from when you started your lap. DRS wide open, we go down the long, long, long main straight. This thing is absolutely insane. Very, very long. DRS is going to be super, super powerful. Hopefully we'll see lots of wheel-to-wheel -wheel action and overtakes down into the first corner. And speaking of the first corner, turn one. Very, very important brake zone to get right. Your braking point is just before the 100 meter board on this left-hand side. As you can see, I have my car over that uh, turquoise uh, painted concrete. That's where you want to be placing your left side tires. And uh, braking sort of around where this, I call it a crane in my notes, but I, it's not really a crane, it's just where the, the pickup truck is. Just before the 100, see this big yellow thing off to the side. That's where you want to be braking for this first corner. So just before the 100, keep it nice and straight all the way down into fourth gear. Pick your turning end point. And you just want to just kiss this apex curbing. And bring the car back over to the right hand side to open up turn 2 slightly. Turn 2 down to 3rd gear to get some extra rotation in the car. Slight down on the brakes, really attack this curbing. Uh, careful not to cut it too much, as you will uh, invalidate your lap time, slash get a warning there if you do. And you really want to compromise turn 2 as well, because you want to get the best possible run through turn 3, and carry that speed all the way down the second of 3. DRS zones this game. So short shift up to fourth gear for turn three. Again, attacking this apex curbing. Careful going over the bumps. And let the car drift out. Get on the power. Uh, careful not to spin. Can be quite easy to spin. And then again, using the uh, entire width of the track using the turquoise colored AstroTurf. Just so you're able to get on that power a little bit earlier. That, that fraction of a second earlier. To gain you that extra half a tenth to a tenth. So the second DRS zone, not as long as the first, but uh, you'll still be going at great speed, reaching 8th gear just before you hit the braking zone for turn number 4, as we come towards the start of the second sector. So turn number 4, braking right at the 100 meter board, down from 8th gear all the way into 3rd. Keep the car nice and straight to avoid locking your front left tire. And then third gear, and again you want to just kiss this ripple strip curb. And keeping it nice and tidy. Careful going over the curb if you take too much. One, it could give you a track limit warning. And two, it can really unsettle the car and ruin your entire run through this very technical sequence of corners. It's a very uh, deceptively challenging sequence of corners. Uh, especially for this next one, in my personal opinion. Uh, turn number five. So turn 5, you come through 4, putting on a bit of power, and then turn 5, just before you turn in, dab on the brakes, down to 2nd gear, get some rotation. You can use 3rd, uh, really attacking all of the uh, apex curbing and even running onto the grass. I didn't quite showcase it well there, but it's pretty okay in the, in the hot lap in the top left hand corner. And you just want to really be attacking that, and this corner is tighter than you think. If you run even slightly wide, at the exit here, you will be uh, receiving a track limit warning slash invalidation. So where my car is right now is 
basically the, the absolute limit that you would realistically want to be going. You can see how my right side tire is just within the white lines on the bottom uh, right hand side of your screen, just below the little telemetry display there. Turn six, another fairly hard corner. It's a double apex right hander. You see this black box above sort of where the timing tower leaderboard is. Just as you pass that, it's where you want to be breaking it for this corner. You're coming in, down the gears, into second gear. At least that's my personal preference. Hit both of these apexes. Uh, then short shift to third on the second one. Use this astroturf on the exit. And then Bob's your uncle and you're going away. And now into probably the most, uh, uh, at least fun part of the circuit, at least for me, but it's also quite nerve wracking as well. The dreaded S section, starting with turn number seven. So turn seven, again, you want to be putting your car on this Astro Turf, just opening up the track as much as possible. You want to be breaking and turning between the black box that we just passed and before this 50 meter board. So about here where our car is now, this is where you want to be dabbing on the brakes slightly, going down a couple gears into fifth, maybe even just one gear if you choose to hold it in sixth uh, between these two corners. So after this, you want to just put in as little steering input as you can. You can use the grass on here, just make sure that you keep those right hand side tires within the white lines. And then turn eight completely flat. And I cannot stress this enough, I made this mistake in the hot lap that I'll be showing you at the end of this video. A little bit of a, a wobble, but it didn't cost me a, a whole bunch of time, but I definitely lost about a tenth here. Do not, I'll, I'll say again, do not touch this ripple strip, or just be very, very careful going over it. You want to be aiming for that little bit of green concrete as you make your way towards this corner. So keep the car nice and straight as you go over the ripple strip. Very, very bumpy and it's actually slanted slightly. So you will be spinning uh, to the uh, the right. So your nose will be facing the right hand side. If you were to accelerate on that or you could be going to the left if you overcorrect. But this green AstroTurf is the sweet spot. You don't want to be touching this ripple strip curve. Have your left side tires within the white lines on the left and the right side tires on that green AstroTurf, green concrete, tarmac, whatever you want to call it, on the right hand side. So through this completely flat and just keeping it nice and straight, a little bit of a lift for the next corner, turn nine. Again, keeping it nice and straight. I wouldn't really use the curb, uh, but it's really up to personal feel. This whole section is just about flow and just muscle memory at this point. Uh, once you find a line that or line, well, there's really there's only one line. Once you find the line that works for you and that you have confidence in, and uh, you will be uh, good to go from there. Trying to keep it as nice and tidy through into turn number 10. Again, another slight lift. You'll be in seventh gear at this point, using the inside, the AstroTurf there, and then keeping the car nice and straight for turn 11. Get as much response on the steering as you can. Again, the, using all the track available and then running over this AstroTurf at the exit as well. Just keeping things nice and tidy. And the new DRS zone in this game between turns 11 and 12. Uh, might see a couple of overtakes into here, maybe a few late lunges, but I personally don't see this one being too much of a, a big deal. But uh, heading into sector three, the stadium part of the section and uh, probably the most technical part of the lap. So we'll start with the first 90 degree right hander here, turn number, uh, I've forgotten now, uh, turn 12. That's right, turn 12, braking right where the curb starts. So about here, we are now going down through the gears. You'll be coming in an eighth gear after the DRS, down to fourth gear, really attack this apex curbing. I personally don't like to use uh, the green AstroTurf there, but that probably is the faster line. And then use definitely use this green AstroTurf on the uh, the left-hand side on the exit. There is so much grip out here. 
uh, more, a whole lot more than there is on this ripple strip of the curb and you're using more of the track and it allows you to get on the power uh, faster. So like with all the other uh, exits beforehand, just using all of the track available and uh, this AstroTurf is uh, quite grippy in this game. Now, personally for me, and in my opinion, uh, whatever that matters, uh, one of the hardest corners on this track turn 13 uh, very easy to lock the front left tire and you it's a hard braking zone to really get right so you're coming in at this angle after you exit turn 12 braking around this uh, black virtual flag then you go all the way down into second gear trying to turn in as early as you can try to take an sort of a mid apex avoid this ripple strip curbing and then you want to straighten the car up as much as you can and then for the next corner, turn number 14, I'll, I'll redo this because I want to really emphasize this point. Turn number 14, you want to use all of the curb having your tires just within the white lines. So a good rule of thumb for this one is to just aim for the bollard. So I'll try this again around about here. You see I just dismantled the bollard slightly, but this line is valid. You will have to turn slightly just to try and straighten up to number 15 as much as you can, which is that little king to the left. Um, but yeah, you really want to be using all of this curb here. It is the fastest line. If you short shift and just le ease off the throttle a little bit, you should be okay and be able to make through this corner just fine. If you put too much power or you're in too low of a gear, you more than likely will spin out and ruin your lap slash race right there. So short shifting is your best friend here. Short shift up to third, short shift uh, up to fourth. Uh, you just want to really keep control of the car here and just keep this as nice and straight as possible. Turn 15, this little kink, basically not even a corner. And it's all about setting the car up for turn number 16. So you want, again, we want to be using all of the track available on this left hand side that seems that's the recurring theme out of all of these videos and how you find that extra pace is using more of the track there so turn 16 just after the the black box or basically right at it once you're coming at speed down a few gears into third gear and just keep it nice and tidy and it's all about the exit through this corner because this corner goes into turn 17 which we, where we started our little breakdown before. Keep it nice and flat, and at the end of your qualifying lap, uh, you want to keep it nice and tight to this right-hand side for the shortest run to the line, and that is your hot lap. Of course, in the race, you want to keep it nice and flowing and just drift back over to this the, uh, the left-hand side to set yourself up for a straight run down this, I believe it's a kilometer long main straight or maybe even longer one of the longest straights in f1 set yourself up for that straight line all the way down into turn one with that drs going at around 320 kph so there you have it that is uh mrl's the misfits racing league track guide for mexico i hope you'll enjoy and i'll show you my hot lap at full speed again there was a bit of a, a mistake in turn eight they didn't quite hit that green astro turf but it's still quite a good lap top one percent in the world at the time of recording and as always the setup will be provided after that so i'll see you guys in a bit and enjoy this hot lap
So that wraps up this week's installment of the Misfits Racing League Circuit Guide series. Here is the setup used for the hot lap, so be sure to try it out and see if it works for you. This is a time trial setup, so you will need to adjust a few things for the race, but it is a strong starting point if you are struggling. Think you can go faster? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear how you go. Be sure to tune in when the racing starts this Tuesday with the European split leading us off for our week around Mexico. That's all from me, and I'll see you next week when we look at the legendary circuit in Sao Paulo. Have a wonderful rest of your day guys.